Thanks for joining us. And today we're going to talk about the still prana of Lahiri Mahashai. So Lahiri Mahashai was foremost a uh, proponent of Kriya Yoga, uh, usually considered as uh, one of the originating gurus of the Kriya Yoga tradition. Um, and one of the things that Lahiri talks about um, is the still prana. So prana is uh, a Sanskrit term for life force. And when you're doing a technique of pranayama, as is, as is Kriya Yoga, uh, the pranayama technique is a way of basically bringing the prana to a state of stillness. And what happens at that point is then um, normally people will go into a state of the tranquil breath, which has also been talked about erroneously as the breathless state. State, uh, but the tranquil breath being a very low idle state in which the whole body's idle drops and it becomes very calm inside and what Lahiri said is that when you still the prana then you have a true perception of your atma of your soul your your true essence if you will uh, and then anything that is outside of that is basically not the true self so it's really interesting uh, in, you know, Lahiri advocated for getting into the still state of prana, right? When the prana becomes still, then the heart uh, is calmed uh, and the breath is calmed and the whole mind is calmed. And then basically getting into that transcendental state. So from Lahiri's perspective, it wasn't just the breath that was still, but the prana itself, the life force inside was still. So this is really interesting from a Taoist internal alchemy perspective, because uh, you know we talk about qi as the life force in Taoist internal alchemy, and that you have a polarization of this qi. You have a yang phase and a yin phase, and they will create this perpetual uh, motion of the qi, if you will. Uh, and so normally when people are doing qigong, that's what they're doing. They're connecting and they're trying to stimulate either a yin or a yang uh, flow through the, the meridians or, or whatever they're doing to help to bring about a balanced state. Um, but one of the things that um, is not really talked about in Chinese medicine, but is talked about in Taoist internal alchemy is the yuan qi, the neutral qi. So the, the idea about uh, the tai qi, which is this the symbol that I'm sure you've seen, it's got the kind of two teardrop shapes and it's got the dots in there. One is black and one is white and then the idea that you know there's a balance between the sort of polar opposites of the sort of positive and the negative right in the yin yang if you will what is not normally talked about is the idea of the yuan chi so this sort of neutral force if you will that helps to birth out the yin and the yang so out of this uh out of this yuan or neutral chi comes the yin and the yang this polarization of the chi doused internal alchemy what we do is that we actually go through a, a variety of techniques to mix the polarities the the positive and the negative if you will and by bringing them together we start to have that unpolarized chi coming out of it that yuan chi and it's still, if you will, it doesn't move to one side or the other. It's not changing to yin uh, back from yin to yang and yang to yin. It is actually in this, this state in which it bursts out this neutrality and it starts to dissolve the yin and the yang. And then what comes out of that could be a new expression of the life force. So it's interesting because there are this correlation between on the one hand Lahiri talking about the still prana as being the ability to get into this sort of transcendental state we do the same thing in Taoist internal alchemy by mixing polarities and coming up with this yuan chi which is called original breath that's a direct translation uh, yuan is original and chi means breath so it's very interesting from my perspective that uh, Lahiri advocated for getting to this this still prana the prana that's not moving it's a neutral prana right and it dissolves the limitations so the idea of dissolving you know the the uh, you know the various permutations of the ego the false self and getting to see the true self now the thing about um, uh, Kriya Yoga and and these different yogic traditions is they get very much into polarizing uh, you know who you are right so if you're not the soul then 
then you are not real, right? And, and in Taoist internal alchemy, we don't talk about that. We talk about the whole, the totality, right? So it's not about, you know, uh, realizing the real and then denying the unreal. It's really a recognition of what things are in its current state. So you're going to get this polarization of stuff. You're going to have emotional stuff. You have your personality. All that is a polarization of the life force. But what we want to do is we want to reset it, right? We don't want it to be stuck in the polarization. We want to dissolve the polarization so that it can be shaped anew so the personality can become dynamic so you can accommodate change so that you can move forward that you can process things that need to be processed in your environment uh, you know stuff with your family right stuff with yourself stuff with your your community and so on so you get into this dynamic state of transformation right now when you connect into the yuan chi that is possible to dissolve the polarizations and that's kind of what they were trying to do in Kriya yoga the problem being that the idea is that everything that isn't in this pristine unpolarized state is unreal that's not true it has an expression in life right so by isolating yourself by saying i will only go to the transcendent and be in the still prana all the time and and make that my identity you're basically denying you know 99 percent of your existence basically right with the exception of that still state and that is not realistic at all what you need to do is to bring about the ability to touch to that neutral force, that Yuan Chi or still prana, to allow it to dissolve limitations. And then you get new opportunities for the expression of the life force, that you can go out and do things, you can solve problems, you can do whatever you need to do in your life, right? Knowing that that's not the final state uh, of the way that your chi needs to go, right? So you're not you're you're just giving yourself the ability to reset the stuff and move forward and basically dissolve a lot of stuff that you've been hanging on to for a really long time, all the baggage, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you know, kudos to Lahiri for bringing about the awareness of that state of still prana, if you will, or neutral prana, which can dissolve the limitations. But really, we need to go farther than that. We need to integrate it into our lives, right? So you're not going to just get a transcendental state and that's it. It solved the world's problems. It will not work, right? So how do you do it? You know, you're dissolving all the limitations within yourself by bringing about those mixing of polarities, bringing out the original chi to dissolve your limitations. Then you're getting clarity about the way that you might act in particular situations, right? So it might be, you know, solving issues with your, you know, in your own life, you know, with your family, with your community, etc. And then getting out into the world and then doing something about it in a constructive way rather than being stuck in a polarization right you know and that's what we see so much uh, that's happening in the world right now is people are very very polarized around a, a variety of issues from health related issues to environmental issues and there's always like a right and wrong side right which are just coming to head to head and what we need to do within ourselves is dissolve the polarity so that we don't become so reactive all the time right so that then we can start to see alternative solutions to what we need to do at this present moment it isn't just about a discourse and belief believing in things, it's dissolving our own inner limitations and then having a more intelligent grasp of what is going on and then being able, uh, you know, with the support of the life force, basically to express things that need to be done in this life, right? So it's about living, it's not about running away, right? So anyway, just wanted to share that um, because it's it's really interesting that Lahiri recognized that, you know, I see Lahiri as being basically an, like another alchemist, right, with a different tradition, Kriya Yoga, but you know, his connection with Prana, right? Right, or the life force was you know it 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 went much beyond the sort of the rigid um, religious classifications of being a Brahmin of his age right in in the age in which he was living all that religious you know strata strata of you know beliefs and what things need to be uh, he really blew through that by just connecting directly with the life force and seeing how it could change him inside but what we need to do now is we need to move things forward and that's what we're doing at modern Korea right we're moving things forward it's great you can get into the tranquil breath it's not that hard right you can get into that state of still prana but what you need to do then is allow it to go inside and dissolve the limitations that you have so that you can come up and reinvent yourself if you will uh, you know that you're basically allowing new expressions of life force to flow through you so that's you know that's what we're doing now that's why we're using you know a lot of Lahiri stuff you know the amazing stuff about getting into the tranquil breath like which is fabulous fabulous and then Taoist internal alchemy uh, practices to help dissolve limitations so that we can move forward and become more dynamic and more sort of of service uh, or of 
help uh, to you know the world at large. So that's what we're doing. Um, so there we have deeper techniques on the membership section of our website, right? Um, that get into you know Kriya Yoga in depth uh, and Taoist internal alchemy in depth. You know, so you'll learn how to bring polarities together in yourself, how to mix them together, how to bring out that Yuan Chi to help dissolve your limitations and move forward in your life, right? So these are great tools. Uh, so check them out at our at our website moderncreate.com. So so if you have any questions about this video, feel free to send me an email at info at modernkorea.com. Also check our website at modernkorea.com and our YouTube channel. So thanks for joining us and we will see you next time.